The second parable I'm going to read to you on the first day of 2014 is the growing seed. Jesus also said the kingdom of God is like a farmer who scatters seed on the ground night and day while he's asleep or awake. The seed sprouts and grows, but he does not understand how it happens. The earth produces the crops on its own. First a leaf blade pushes through, then the heads of wheat are formed, and finally the grain ripens. And as soon as the grain is ready, the farmer comes and harvests. The first thing we notice about this parable is its similarity to the parable of the sower in Mark 4, 2-9. In some ways, this parable ex expands on Jesus' teaching of how the good soil, a receptive heart, receives the seed, the Word of God. In the parable of the growing seed, Jesus tells the man who scatters seed on the ground and then allows nature to take its course. As a man who sowed the seed goes about his business day by day, the seed begins to have an effect. First, the seed sprouts, then it produces a stalk and leaves, then a head of grain, and finally, fully developed kernels in the head. Jesus emphasizes that all this happens without the man's help. The man who scattered the seed cannot even fully understand how it happens. It is simply the work of nature. All by my, itself, the soil produces. The parable ends with a harvest. As soon as the grain is ripe, the sickle is employed, and the seed is harvested. This happens at just the right time. Jesus did not explain this parable as he did some others. Instead, he left it to us to understand its meaning, taking the seed to be the Word of God, as in we can interpret the growth of the plants as the working of God's Word in individual hearts. The fact that the crop grows without the farmer's intervention means that can God accomplish His purpose even when we are absent or unaware of what He's doing. The goal is to ripen grain. At the proper time, the Word will bring forth its fruit, and the Lord of the harvest will be glorified. The truth of this parable is well illustrated in the growth of the early church. I planted the seed. Apollos watered it, but God made it grow. Just like a farmer cannot force a crop to grow, an evangelist cannot force spiritual life or growth on others. To summarize the point of the parable of the growing seed, the way God uses his word in the heart of an individual is mysterious and completely independent of human effort. May we be faithful in sowing the seed, praying for our harvest and leaving the result to the Lord. And again, I thank you.